Hey guys, and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this tilty effect on anything, on a button, on a heading, title, some random instance of some crazy object. I'm going to show you how to do this. So basically it's tilting left and right by a certain amount. There is a maximum tilt, there is the speed at which it tilts. So basically all we're doing is manipulating the image angle of this instance. Right, so it's going, it's increasing until it gets to the maximum, and then it's decreasing until it gets to the negative maximum. It's only a few lines of code, which is quite surprising and quite fun. So let's jump straight into the project. It's going to be a pretty much empty project with just the sprites and an empty object. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. So let's let's go. So here we are in a somewhat empty project. If I go to sprites, I've just got the sprite button that says, click me, you know you want to. Um, now this obviously isn't restricted to just buttons. I mean, you can use it for titles, any pretty much any object. All, all we're doing is manipulating the image angle of uh, an instance. So in objects, I've got an empty object button, doesn't have anything, as you can see there, and then in our room, just smack bang right in the middle, I have it. There we go. See, there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, two events. One's going to be a create, and we're going to shove in some variables. We need to um, set the speed of the tilt. Uh, we've got the tilt direction, you know, which way it's going first, um, how much we want it to tilt in either direction, left and right, like, you know, how many degrees. Then you've got uh, whether it should tilt or not, because basically you can make this autonomous, so it just does its own thing, um, or you can make it react to certain events, such as we can make it only tilt when the mouse is on it. We can, you know, any condition that becomes true can be used to make this instance tilt. So in this case, I'm just going to make it perpetually tilt forever, and then at the end of the tutorial, I'm going to make it only tilt when the mouse is touching it. So we're going to add an event, create. This is we're going to give it uh, the variables that we need. So let's just bring this in and resize it. Okay, so we need a variable called uh, tilt speed. I'm not going to give these any values until the end of the declaration of these. Here we've got tilt direction. Then we've also got max tilt, as well as can tilt. It's just like in my shooting tutorials, I use can shoot, can this, can that. It's like a question. If it's true, then it means yes. If it's false, it means no. So can tilt equals false means clearly it cannot tilt. So the speed I'm going to set is 1, so we can watch that happen slowly. Direction first, I want it to go left. We're going to be using left and right in our direction there. Max tilt is going to be 10 degrees. Can tilt, I'm going to set it to true. So as soon as this or an instance of this object is created, it's going to start doing its business and tilting about. Okay, so that's done. We're going to add a second event here. It's going to be a step. So firstly, we're going to ask the question, can we tilt? See, can tilt. Alright. So, if true, then if tilt direction equals right. So if we're going right, we're going to do one thing. Else, tilt direction obviously means left, and we're going to do another thing. So we've just got our braces here so we don't make any mistakes. Now we only want to tilt to a certain point. That point is known as the max tilt. Um, so every step is going to be tilting by a certain degree. In this case it's going to be that uh, tilt speed. And when it hits the max tilt, then it's got to say, OK, if you were tilting right, I want you now to tilt left. And then it's going to do the opposite. It's going to rewind from that uh, that right tilt until it gets back to zero. Then it's going to be doing the left tilt. When it gets to the negative uh, max tilt, which will be minus 10, then it's going to be doing the same, changing it to the right tilt again, and so on. It's just going to be doing that seesaw kind of motion until we tell it not to. So here in the if tilt direction equals uh, right tilt, uh, we're going to say here, well, if image angle is greater than the negative max tilt. All right. Let's give it some space. Then we can tilt. Image angle minus equals tilt speed. Else. Tilt direction. Oop. Direction equals, and then this is going to be left. Okay, so if our image angle of this instance is greater than the negative max tilt, then what we want to do is we want its image angle to decrease every step 
by that of or the value of tilt speed. And then once we hit that boundary, so once image angle equals the negative max tilt, so as soon as image angle equals minus 10, if the max tilt is 10, which it is right here, see, as soon as our image angle is equal to minus 10, then it's going to switch, it's going to do the opposite. Now we are no longer tilting right, we are tilting left. So that will pretty much handle the right tilt. This part handles the stopping, so that changes to left and then it no longer goes right. So once it gets here, in the next step we still can tilt, it's going to get here and it's going to skip all that and then it's going to go to the else. And in the else we're going to tell it to do the opposite. So if image angle is less than max tilt, right? So basically max tilt is 10, so if we anywhere between, you know, minus 10 and 9, then, that's in degrees, then we take our image angle, and we're going to increase by tilt speed. See, it's just the opposite. In this case, when we're going right, we check in if it's greater than the negative max tilt, and then we decrease the image angle. In this case, when we're going left, we're checking if the image angle is less than the max tilt, and in that case, we're increasing our image angle until we have reached max tilt. And then obviously, over here, we're going to say else. And then just as we did here, tilt direction equals left, tilt direction now equals right. So you could turn this into a script if you want, and then pass these variables, can tilt, tilt direction, max tilt, and tilt speed, pass them in as uh, arguments, and see how that goes. You, know, you can pretty much throw this on any object you could possibly want at that point. It'll be a lot easier than having a step event and a create in uh, every object that you use it in. So there we go. If we can tilt, we check in which direction. Whichever direction it is, it's going to do some magic, and when it gets to the limit, it's going to change direction and so on. So as we can see, that does pretty much all that action right over there. So let's play this and see what happens. So there we go. The button or title or whatever instance of whatever object this is, it's tilting. It's like a seesaw. Left, right, left, right. Every time it gets to that limit, it changes direction and goes in the opposite direction to the opposite limit, the negative uh, version of the limit. So there, we can check that out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this button or title or heading or whatever it is react to the mouse. So when we place our mouse over this instance object, it is going to then set that can tilt to true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. So what we've got to do to accomplish this is go into our object button, right into our step over here, and see we have this can tilt. This is the question we're asking every step. So basically we're going to say here, can tilt equals position meeting and then here we got our X and Y and our object so X and Y is going to be mouse X mouse Y and self so whatever object this piece of code is in in this case it is the object button so here this is going to return a true or false a yes or a no and once it gets that then it's going to test that yes or no and do stuff let's try this out all right, so here we are. We have this heading button slash anything else we could possibly want to tilt. Put our mouse over it, and bam, it works. Take it away, and it stops. Hey, check that out. So only when our mouse is on it, then it's going to do some stuff. And it looks kind of cool. Maybe you want this as your title. It kind of makes uh, a somewhat static screen come alive in this kind of manner. Or if you just want to have this kind of tilt animation somewhere in whichever object of anything in your game. It'll look rather fantastic. Check it out, take it away, it works. Very, very cool. So if you found this tutorial educational and helpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Uh, you can find the downloadable project straight in the description for you to mess around and enjoy with. Copy this code, I don't know, change it as much as you wish. Uh, even put it in a script if you're feeling adventurous go for that that's really fantastic it'll help you along if you're going to be using this a lot in any of your other projects if you want to support this channel please feel free to check out my patreon campaign links also in the description coming up next time i'm going to be extending that artificial intelligence turret tutorial basically what we're going to do in the next part is we're going to make it shoot when it sees our player. So it's going to be rotating, it's going to be detecting its field of vision, and if we're not behind something, it's going to try and kill us. So that's what's going to happen. Um, 
got a lot of, of feedback from that saying that they'd like to see how they can make that turret shoot. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's going to be fantastic. Please stay tuned for that. If you have any further suggestions, please keep them coming in. You can just send me a PM or comment on this video. I'll pick them up as we go along. So until that video comes out, happy coding, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys then.